Hello everyone, we will be presenting our work Picture That Sketch Photorealistic Image Generation from Abstract Sketches that has been accepted in CVPR 2023. In this paper, we propose a high resolution, fine grained object image generator framework guided by very abstract freehand sketches. Overall, we utilize a pre trained image generator and we learn a task specific lightweight mapper that maps the input sketches to the images present in the pre trained style GAN latent manifold. As a result, once trained, the proposed method is enabled to generate high-res images guided by very abstract freehand sketches. Finally, our method enables a few downstream tasks like precise semantic editing, fine grade image retrieval, multimodal generation, etc. As shown in the image, our method can generate highly photorealistic looking images even from very abstract freehand sketches. Until now, image to image translation was the go to architecture for converting a sparse line drawing into an image. However, adapting it directly for scale will result in deformed outputs. The typical encoder decoder architecture of any image to image translation framework can be formulated as the probability of generating a photo given the input sketch S, where the encoder embeds the sketch into a latent feature Z from which the decoder generates the output photo R. Importantly, we realize that as the loss back propagates from the decoder to the encoder's end while training it with sketch photo pairs, the model gets hard conditioned by the scratch to treat its strokes as the intensity boundary of the generated photo, thus resulting in deformed outputs. To overcome the issue related to end-to-end -end encoder decoder training, we propose a two-stage approach. In the first stage, we model the decoder as an unsupervised can which being trained from a large number of unlevelled photos is capable of generating realistic looking images. Once the GAN is trained, in the second stage keeping the generator fixed, we aim to learn a sketch mapper that would encode the input sketch into a latent code Z corresponding to the paired photo in the pretend GAN latent space. With this two stage approach, we can see how our model generates highly realistic images even from very abstract freehand sketches. To achieve the said quality of output, we design a few salient components within our system. Firstly, we model the sketch encoder in an autoregressive manner, preserving the sequential dependency among the sketches. Secondly, apart from the standard reconstruction loss, we propose a novel fine-grained discriminative loss. And finally, we employ a pretend photo to photo mapper as a teacher assistant for further guidance. Next, I'll discuss the salient components in brief. Inspired by the GAN inversion literature, we design our baseline sketch mapper using a ResNet 50 backbone. To generate the latent code of size 14 cross D, we use 14 individual latent embedding networks, each of which takes FS as input to predict a d-dimensional latent vector. Concatenating them results in a 14 cross D latent code. Finally, this latent code upon passing through the pretend generator generates the output photo. Trained with a weighted summation of L2 pixel loss and perceptual loss, our baseline sketch mapper eventually learns to map an input sketch to its corresponding photo in the manifold of a pretend style GAN. Baseline latent mapper ignores the hierarchical abstraction of freehand sketches. Instead of predicting the latent code in one shot, we aim to model it in an autoregressive setting, keeping a sequential dependency among them. For an input sketch, the autoregressive sketch mapper can be mathematically expressed as shown where value of the ith predicted latent vector depends on all preceding latents. Here we model the sequential decoder with a series of simple GRU networks for its easy optimizability and stable training. We model the discriminative sketch photo association to reflect fine grained user intent in the output space. A triplet loss based free trained fine grained SBIR model places a sketch near to its paired photo compared to others in the joint embedding space. Thus, we compute a discriminative fine grained loss that measures the cosine similarity between the input sketch and the generated photo. Photo to photo mapping being an easier task than sketch to photo, we use a photo to photo mapper as a teacher to additionally guide the learning of our sketch mapper. Architecture of ER is identical to our baseline sketch mapper only with the aim of reconstructing the input photo at the output. Once trained, we freeze ER and the latent vectors predicted by ER acts as a ground truth additionally supervising our sketch mapper via a simple distillation loss. 
To pretend the style gun generator, we use existing large scale image only data sets like UTZ Apos 50K or Pix to Pix handbag. Whereas we use QML, Shoe V2, Chair V2, and handbag data sets containing sketch photo pairs to train our sketch mapper. We compare our method against different self designed baselines and state of the arts like Pix to Pix, MUNIT, Cycle GAN, PSP, etc. Apart from the standard metrics like LPIPS FID, we also conduct a human study where the users draw a sketch and rate the output photos generated by different methods on a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being worst and 5 being best. Coming to the result analysis, this table benchmarks the proposed method in three different datasets. As seen in the table, the proposed method consistently surpasses the state of the arts in terms of quality, diversity and user satisfaction. Now coming to the qualitative visuals. When compared to our framework, there exists a noticeable deformity in the photos generated by its competitors. In contrast, given the visually pleasing and richer generation quality, our method vastly outperforms most SOTA and all the baseline. The top figure depicts cross dataset generalization of the proposed work. Our model trained on SHU-V2 generalizes pretty well to unseen sketch styles from datasets like Q Berlin, Sketchy, and yields very compelling results. The bottom left figure depicts that the quality of output remains steady even when the input sketches are extremely noisy. And in the bottom right, we observe that our method is resilient to partial inputs. Now coming to the downstream tasks. Our method enables realistic semantic editing. The top figure depicts one such sketch editing episode where the user gradually changes the heel length via sketch to observe consistent local changes in the output photo domain. In the bottom figure, we can see how, the gener how we can generate multiple color and appearance variation images from a single sketch using multimodal generation. Thanks for your attention. For more, please visit our website at sketchx.ai.